Hello. Nice to see you. Happy to nice be to here. So what are you going to play? I'm going to play Fifth Sonata by Scriabin. Tell me about yourself. Where do you study and where, where do you, where do you yes. live? So right now I'm kind of living in Vienna, Austria. I'm doing my second year, finishing my second year bachelor in uh, Vienna University of Music and Applied mm -hmm. Arts. And I'm in a class of uh, Professor Anna Malikova. Uh -huh, okay. Wonderful. Looking forward to hear you. Okay. Should I start now? Whenever you want. Whenever you're ready.
How long do you play this piece already? Um, I played it, I started little by little to, to practice it in summer, and I played it very freshly in one concert in autumn, but then I completely uh, gave it away, and then I'm already repeating it for three weeks, I think. Mm -hmm. Do you play other Scrabbins with others? Or? Um, I played only the second one, but I'm a huge fan of Scrabbins, so I play other of his pieces, and I'm trying to collect as much as I can. Well, I, can I can tell that you have a very strong affinity with this music. And Thank you. It's very convincing what you're doing. I have a couple of questions to ask you. Um, Maybe we can you play for me for once more from the beginning. Okay. Do you have the music with you? Because I don't have the bar numbers. Um, I have actually in another room. I have my notes. Oh. I could I could what? bring it. Can you bring it? Yes. Yeah. I okay. have it. Great, great. So play a little bit from the beginning. Oh no, I don't hear you <laughs> once again. Oh, can you hear me? Oh, I now I heard a little bit and then not anymore. Uh huh. <laughs> What's the problem? Do you know? No, not. Yet. Let me see if I can try to fix it. Now I hear. Now you can it. hear it? Yes. Okay, good. So play a little bit from the beginning. Yeah. One more time. It's all very good. It's very uh, beautiful. I just have a question to ask you. First of all, when um, when you play uh, the very the very last, you seem to slow down before the um, the the fortissimo. Is that something you want to be doing, or? Um, I guess I just want to make a tolerando so much, and maybe I'm afraid that I won't be the effect won't be that. M that big when I when I don't so I slow down before and then try to make as fast as I can but yeah that's a good yeah I, d I never thought about it okay you tr down. try beginning and try to go all the way to the end without yeah. s stopping it you seem to be stopping before and I think it may be losing a little bit of the momentum I don't know but can you try that play play one more time uh, from the beginning Yes, very good. In the first two measures, 
one does not uh, hear the pulse. So maybe a little bit. bit more clarity in the left end. Okay, that's good. Now, I have a question to ask you. You playing... Uh Shouldn't that be... You play, you're playing it as very different uh, kind of a rubato. Yeah. Is it something you want to be doing? Uh, my plan was so that doesn't sound all the all the same. Uh, at first, I think like uh, I'm going from this to this, and then it's it's a bit a bit up, and then then from this, and then this thing, this thing mm -hmm. is. Uh, um, more from from far, far. far I away. see, no, but but the rhythmically. Is not correct. You know the. With Christian, yes. Play this one more time. Play this to you from this. It sounds to me a little bit slower, I think, no? A little bit more even, no? Yes, you you have tendency. Still a little bit crescendo, second time also. I want to hear the rest. I think this comes a little bit too soon for me. This. The rest, I think, is important. Beautiful, go on. transparency in the sound from what it a little bit more pianissimo actually more fantastical you know more uh, a little bit more crescendo also it says poco crescendo i don't i hardly hear the crescendo just a little bit more, more. Also here, you have a crescendo and then sound and diminuendo. I would, a little bit more. But this, shouldn't this not be still within crescendo? 
I don't know if you agree or... I agree, yeah. Okay. I agree. Okay. okay. Yeah, I think so, yeah. Boy. Also more crescendo, and I think when you get the... When you have the chromatic chromatism, chromatic, uh, a little bit different. Not every crescendo should sound the same. A little bit different this time. No, start there. But that's too soft. I think when you're coming out of crescendo, you still have to... Only... Uh, you're spoiling the pianissimo a little bit by playing it too soon. It's, it's good. Sometimes there is, we all have tendency to play when it says crescendo is starting already too soon to be too loud. In fact, it's maybe the lowest point. And the same when it says diminuendo, it's not the lowest point yet. It's still, we start from the loudest point to make the crescendo. It's, it's gradual. I would, I would say that your crescendo diminuendo should be a little bit more gradual, even if it's poco. Poco crescendo, poco diminuendo. Okay, go, go on for now. Here I would, here it's piano, and I would, it'll be a little warmer in the sound. Make a difference between the dynamics. It's a little bit warmer and a different register also. So bring it out a little bit more. playing um, it's almost there you know this uh, all this jumps it's it's almost there it's not quite but but here uh, you uh, can you not make uh, the same rubato second time you play you do exactly the same thing twice maybe in tempo the second one could you maybe tell me which 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 place I didn't understand quite? This uh -huh. this section. 
the, the, the second time you're taking the same rubato the first time in the left. Maybe second time should be in tempo. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? It's, it's very good. Now it's my, I like it more better. Here, be as clear as, more clear as possible in the left hand. I know it's hard. And here it's like, more like trumpets. Pom, pom, pom. All the force that you have in your hands, try to imitate trumpet and trombone or something like that. A little bit more. But you have, it's very good, you have rubato before. A little bit more in tempo once you get to that point. The rubato is finished. Rubato is only for previous measures, but here, here I would play in tempo. Pom, pom, pom. take so much time in between. I, I like this idea, but not as much, maybe. Yeah. You know, yes. keep moving. I think it's a little bit uh, too predictable, becomes too predictable. Elizabeth, you know what's not sounding is this. The second note is not clear to me. so impressionistic here and especially right especially because I, I can hardly hear it practice on the left hand here, this whole section. It's not quite clear yet, you know. I know it's very hard. And, um, I mean, you can do rubato if you want in the right, but, but yeah, I also want to hear the left hand, a little bit more clarity to it. Yeah, I think it's always because of my second finger. <laughs> I have problems with it. So, oh, so maybe you change fingerings. No, no, no. I need to <laughs> to make it better. Just yeah. But don't hurt time. it. Don't don't injure it. No, no. We're okay. It's okay. Yeah. Okay. So that's. I mean, that sounds wonderful. Except maybe just you can improve a little bit the left hand and um, 
Anyway, continue if you like to continue so much. This. Trying to uh, remember what it's, it means, uh, Akures, the wall. I think maybe more loving or something like that. The translation of this word. Well, it's more more loving. Or I don't see which word. The in the beginning of this. Uh, I Akures wall. Yes, it uh, means me, more yes, loving. I think so. I was yes. translated, but now I cannot remember it uh, quietly. But I think it's yeah about about yeah more loving. You know the thing is, there's just so many different voices and so much material going on in this section, is that it's hard to. S I think that one has to take this pianissimo in context to what's going on around it. Dynamic dynamics are in general is is relative to what's happening at the moment. You know, so this we play. I think the, the main voice has to be the main voice. It has to be a little bit more. So we can bring out things like this. And then show the difference. First time it was, it was E flat. Second time is. So in a very subtle way, you can show the difference in chords. It's beautiful, but here I would. Uh, a little bit more show the difference between this here and, and then second, a little bit more sound, it's a different harmony. Because sometimes your third note of the group is not as important as the first two. And also here. We connect a little bit more to the next measure also. First time on. Plays this whole section one more time. Yeah, yeah.
Yes, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I think when, when you have chromatics, uh, chromatic scale, make it special. Sometimes the articulation gets lost. You know, pop, 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 pop. a little, little bit more articulation in the right hand. It's good, but it goes down, it's not as good. This one. This one is the second one is not as clear as the first one. Yeah. Yes. Yes, yes. And then don't always slow down. Ba -ba -bum. Sometimes you can slow down, but not every time. Also, when you you have this difficult passage, ta -ta 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 -ta. you know you know what I mean. This passage, yes, you always slow down towards the end of it. Try not to. I know it's very hard, but. It's a little harder, but I think it's um, maybe stronger. Yeah, not so much, actually. Maybe this thing is actually harder for me somehow, because uh, I tend to make legato here, and that's why but the articulation suffers from it, I think so. No, it sounds better. But in the bass, always uh, one has to be a little sharper, because the bass is harder to play staccato than in the, in the treble, in a yeah. lower, in a higher voice. So it's all very good, very, very good. Now I have a question to ask you. Um, uh, can you play the development a little bit from... Uh, from there? I think that this should be the forte should be subito here. You're making crescendo both times, yeah. and I don't know. Maybe you have a different edition, but I think that yeah. it's also be very and then subito forte. Okay. But then you can take a little bit more, a little bit more clarity in the right hand. So take a little bit, stretch it a little bit.
Oh, very good. Very good. Beautiful, beautiful playing. It's more or less the same material now, so I hope it was helpful to you. Very helpful. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. One really wonderful, wonderful performance. Thank you. So happy to thank play you. for you. I'm a huge thank fan. You so much. <laughs> Looking forward to hearing again. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. bye.